What's happening guys? We're gonna go mow some yards today, but first and foremost, we gotta make sure my weed eater still works. So, we're gonna go to the shop, and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of gas in it, and we're gonna see if it works or not. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is hook up to the trailer, and we gotta get the lawnmower hooked up onto the trailer, and then we can go up here to the yard. We're going to my grandparents, and I'm gonna see if the weed eater starts or not. loaded up and ready to rock and roll now that's probably the first time you guys have seen my truck on here so uh might look a little iffy to you let me explain it's an 03 gmc sierra 1500 hd it's got the six liter in it and it's eight lug but here's the twist this truck's equipped with quadra steer so what is a quadra steer you might ask huh. let me explain Basically, it's got two front ends in it. It's got the tie rods right there. And then you've got your knuckles, all that. Basically, the back wheels turn with the front. There's a uh, axle, or not an axle, a, uh, I can't think of what it's called, steering column that comes down through here and it drives a gear, turns the rear wheels with the front. And it is all controlled. Let's get up in here. A little bit of a dirty truck at the moment, don't mind. This switch right here. So, all four wheels turn. They don't turn as much as the fronts do, but very close. They turn up to 15 degrees. And that makes backing up a trailer or short, tight turn maneuvering a lot easier. So, if you guys want a uh, full rundown video of the truck one day and everything I've done to it, uh, leave a like and comment, and I might do it. Okay guys, let me get back to where you can see me a little bit. So this is sat up in the shed for pretty much all winter. I was a silly goose and I forgot to drain all the fuel out of it, but that's okay. Let's take a look see in here. Oh yeah, that looks okay. Yep. We'll just go ahead and top it off a little bit. We'll see if it starts and if it doesn't. I got a backup electrical one we could use. It's battery powered. That'll get us by for today. But I do know for a fact I'm gonna have to put some string in this because it's just got a single hanger on it at the moment. So uh, I'll either have to put some in or see if it's just bound up in there. Let's see if I can even remember how to do this. It's been a while. Sounds a little rough, but guys, I kid you not, that was literally the first try. Like, what? Beep. I'm gonna beep that out. But like, guys, I did not expect that. That thing has sat all winter. Nothing. Like, you know, my shop is, it's enclosed, but it's not insulated or anything. Steal for the win, guys. Please sponsor me. All right, well, I guess with that being said, I don't get that lucky with my uh, stringing. So let's pop it out and see what we got here. I don't even know if I got any around here or not. Highly doubt it. Oh yeah, you're gonna fight me, aren't you? What do we got going on here? Holy shit, we actually have string in it. How about that? 
How about that? It's just fucking tucked up in there. Guys, I'm not joking. This is literally like the luckiest start to the season I've ever had. This is freaking insane. Alright, let's tip it. Now we want this one to go here. It doesn't really matter, it's just personal preference. Get in there. Hey. Can't even see where the hell it's going. Okay. There we go. Okay. Get in there and stay in there, damn it. Don't want to do that. Get in there, damn it. Okay, now we're good to go. Maybe. Bingo. Yep, bingo. Alright, we're ready to roll. Let's go dump the mower off the trailer and get started. Okay guys, please don't make fun of me too much. I'm very well aware that my blades are kind of dull, but you know, this is just a test and tune to make sure the mower's working the way I want it. Uh, my blades are very dull on this because this is still my set from last year. So I got a hold of my John Deere dealer. They're gonna be sending me some out soon. Evidently, my phone got out at some point, and it's not wanting to record right. So, you guys are missing out on this. I'll catch you when I'm done. Totally did not miss the part where I get covered in fucking grass. Bowden, I miss you. Okay, guys. We got done. While I got the mower out, we're going to go do a little bit of work to my yard. I need to uh, drag the harrow over at a time or two. And then I need to throw that on some grass seed where I did some landscaping work. And then we can put some fertilizer down on it and see if we can catch a rain or not. Okay guys, so uh, we're getting hooked up here to the little cultivator harrow. Now this ought to be interesting because I've never pulled this with my lawnmower before. I've always just pulled it with the side by side. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. It's pulling it, let's go! Okay, seed is down and harrowed in. Now the last step, put some mulch down. So, yeah, this is gonna be the tedious part. I'm probably gonna wrap the video up at that because I don't think you guys wanna watch me spread mulch. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you wanna see some more future videos. Uh, it's been fun doing this by myself because this is the first time i've ever like actually took on a reseeding job which even though it's at my own house it's kind of like a test and tune ordeal 
we're going to figure out how it goes and what mistakes I need to correct next time. I know for damn sure I need to do something differently with my seed bed prep. Because this looks a little bit clumpy, but it's not a terrible seed bed overall. Uh, it'll do the job for now. But at least now I know for next time. It's kind of a learning process. And uh, most of the shit I'm pulling this off was online. So, yeah. That's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed.